Touch skill is one of the most important things that couples can learn when it comes to intimate play and lovemaking. Oftentimes we don't understand when we're taking or when we're giving when it comes to touch. Often when we think we're giving, we're actually taking because we don't know what our partner really likes. This exercise gives you tools to communicate your desires, what it is you like, and what you're willing to do when it comes to touch. It also gives you permission to really ask for what you want and to learn when you're giving, receiving, or when you're taking from your partner. Great. So I'm going to start by having you really ask her specifically what you would like, how you would like her to touch you, and then you can say yes or no. You don't have to say yes to everything he requests. Right. <laughs> so, but if it's something that you feel like is a really powerful yes, then you can grant him his request. Um, touch my chest. How would you like her to touch your chest? Just, you know, gently, like massage-like motions. So you want me to yes. maybe squeeze. Like that? <laughs> Play with my nipples. <laughs> Are you good? breathing? <laughs> so make sure you're also breathing as you do this. Okay. Side of my neck. And how would you like the massage of your neck? Would you like deeper pressure or lighter pressure? So again, being really specific here. Like a little deeper. A little deeper. A deeper? Okay, now switch and tell her how you would like to touch her. Okay. And be very specific and do ask her before you do it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'd like to. Let me say no. <laughs> Start with your neck, massage your neck and shoulders. That's perfect. Right. So if you want to turn around, actually, that might be really good. Sure. Then access that a little better. And let your hands really enjoy this. You're receiving here. She's giving. So really letting him do what he likes here. Letting his hands really enjoy your body. Good. And before you move on to the next area, asking her. <laughs> I know it's tempting, you wanna to go to those arms. But... Telling her, okay, now I want to go to your shoulder or your arm. I want to go to your shoulders and your arms. Okay. Great. Great. Good. I'm down your back. <laughs> so, thank her now. Believe it or not, you thank her because she's giving. Thank you for letting me massage. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Great. So now we switch roles. So you tell him now how you would like him to touch you. Okay. Well, I would like you to gently mm -hmm. touch down here in my neck, around my breast. Like from the way you demonstrated. Good. Would you like him to go slower or how's that speed for you? That speed is perfect, yeah. Remember to breathe. My shoulders. Good. Did you want a deeper pressure on his shoulder on your shoulders or did you want it light? Yeah. Deep. Yeah, deeper is good. And now telling him how you would like to touch him for your pleasure. So remember, this is for you that you're touching him. And how would you like to touch them? Deep pressure, light pressure? Deep pressure. Deep pressure. Just don't choke me. <laughs> That's good. Let me see pressy. So remember that it's for your pleasure, so really let your hands enjoy every nook and cranny of massaging him. Is that good? I 
like it too. <laughs> So tell him another way that you'd like him to touch him. It's different than the other one you did before. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would love to touch gently your back. Okay, okay great. So if you want to go ahead and try it. Good. And tell him what kind of pressure you want to do. I want to do it deep. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Is that good? Yeah. Good. So remember the pleasures for your hands, really feeling what feels good under your hands. Usually if it feels good underneath your hands, it feels good to your partner's body. Right. Great. So go ahead and thank him. Thank you so much, baby. Good. So go ahead and turn back to facing one another. So this exercise is really great because you can learn new things about your partner. You can learn things about what they liked about each other, about touch. So tell her just something you learned about touching her, something that you learned that she liked. I learned um, of a couple erogenous spots on your body that I didn't really realize that turn you on, that you know get you aroused very easily. Great. And what did you learn about touching him? Right, I I learned also there were some areas that I didn't know that turned him on, <laughs> like the back. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, the back is actually a, a huge erogenous area. Yeah, I never things. realized before, mm -hmm. and Lord. now I had the chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. I'm very happy I did. Great. <laughs> One of the other keys to this is that actually flip flops are circuitry. We think that when we're giving to someone, that that means when we're massaging them, like say you're touching her and you're massaging her, but she doesn't really like it. But she's the one who's giving because you're doing something you like. But a lot of times we think that we're giving by massaging someone, but that's not always true. So say you're touching her clitoris later on in bed and it's not really her hotspot but you think it is, or you think you're pleasing her. So really checking in with one another, then you can be clear about when you're giving and when you're receiving. Yeah? Great, right. good, well thank you so much. Thank you. Glad you learned something. Great. Yeah. <laughs>